Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving average speed. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says a steam train from Fort William to Malague takes 2 hours and 15 minutes. The train travels at an average speed of 32 km per hour. What is the distance travelled in kilometres? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the distance d. We know the average velocity v is 32 km per hour and the time is equal to 2 hours and 15 minutes. Now you'll notice we're not using metres and seconds here, we're using kilometres and hours instead. So what we're going to do here is simplify the time unit to be in just hours rather than hours and minutes. And since 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour, that's the same as 0 0.25 hours, and so our time is equal to 2.25 hours. So writing down our equation for average speed, we have d equals v bar t. Substituting in the numbers, we get 32 times 2.25, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 72 kilometers. Question 2 says Usain Bolt holds the world records for the men's 100 meter and 200 meter sprints. His times are shown below. So his time for a 100 meter race was 9.58 seconds and time for a 200 meter race 19.19 seconds. Part A says to calculate his average speed for the 100 meter race. We're writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find v bar, the average speed. We know the distance is 100 metres and the time is 9.58 seconds from above. So writing down our equation for average speed, we have d equals v bar times t. Rearranging for v bar this time, we can divide both sides by t to get v bar equals d over t. Substituting in the numbers gives us 100 divided by 9.58 and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 10.4 metres per second to one decimal place. Part B then says to calculate its average speed for the 200 meter race. So we're going to do the same as in part A, but just swap out some of the numbers. So we've got V bar equals question mark. Distance is 200 meters this time, and the time is 19.19 seconds from the question. So writing down our equation for average speed, we have D equals V bar T. Rearranging again for V bar, we divide both sides by T to get V bar equals D over T. And substituting in the numbers, we get 200 divided by 19.19. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 10.4 meters per second, again to one decimal place. And then part C says, how do these values compare? Well, remember part A, we also got an answer of 10.4 meters per second to one decimal place. So we can say that Bolt maintains roughly the same average speed over both distances. Wow. So if you think about it, that's quite impressive to be able to keep up roughly the same average speed over twice the distance because if you think about it, most runners will tire out towards the end of a sprint, whereas it's clear that Bolt didn't really in this case. Lastly, question 3 says, Mr Mitchell travels 14 miles from Inverness to Fort Rose in his white Volkswagen Golf Mark 7, and this was when I was up in the Highlands during my probation year as a teacher. It then says, his average speed for the entire journey is 30 miles per hour. How long does the journey take in hours and then in minutes? Well, for part A in hours, first of all, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the time t. We know the distance is equal to 14 miles and the average speed is equal to 30 miles per hour. So we're going to get a time in hours using the distance in miles and the average speed in miles per hour. So we're not going to convert anything to meters and seconds here. So writing down our equation for average speed, we have d equals v bar times t. Rearranging for the time t, we can divide both sides by v bar to get t equals d over v bar. Substituting in the numbers gives us 14 divided by 30 and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of roughly 0 0.47 hours. So you can see that's just under half an hour there, but if we wanted to find out how long this journey was in minutes more precisely, then we just need to take our value in hours, 0 0.47 hours, and multiply it by 60 to get it into minutes. So if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 28 minutes. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.